Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a child theme and also we'll be talking about that what is a child theme and what is the difference between the child theme and a parent theme and then we'll talk about that when you should use a child theme in your WordPress based website and what is the advantage of having a child theme. So if you are a website developer or a website designer using the WordPress for a while, you might already have heard about the terminology child theme and you are here because you want to learn that what is actually the purpose of using a child theme. So if you want to learn all these things, then without further ado, let's get started. So let's talk about the child theme in WordPress. So in simpler term, a child theme is a sub theme that inherits the look, feel and functions of the parent theme. Now you might think that what is then the difference between the child theme and a the parent theme? Well, a child theme as defined by the WordPress code X is a theme that inherit the functionality and styling of another theme that is called the parent theme. So the child theme actually inherit the functionality and styling of the parent theme but then when should i use the child theme well you should use the child theme if you want to extend or modify the functionality of your parent theme so for example you want you want to uh, add a custom php in your parent theme to extend the functionality in that case you will use the child theme then what is the advantage of having a child theme so Consider it this way that if you will add the custom PHP to extend the functionality of your website in the parent theme, then in the next update, whenever the update will come, all the changes that you will made will be overwritten if you if you will do this in the parent theme. But if you will use a child theme, all of the changes that you will made will remain here and then you will be able to update the theme as well. So this is just to give you a secure way to enhance the functionalities of your website. So let's see that how you can create a child theme in your WordPress based website. Now this process that I'm going to show you can be applied to all of the themes available for the WordPress out there. So first thing that you want to do is to log into your WordPress dashboard. And once you are logged into your WordPress dashboard, you want to go to plugins. And then in here, you'll have to click on this add new button. In here, you will search for child theme. And we need to install this plugin that is child theme configurator. This is by Lila media. So it has 300,000 plus active installation and last updated two months ago. So simply click on install now button here and then simply click on activate button. Once you will activate the plugin, the plugin will get activated here. So in here you'll have to hover over these tools option here and then click on this child themes. So if I go to appearance and themes for now, you'll see that for now I have this cadence themes activated. I'm going back to the plugin section here. And then in here, you can see that it automatically picks the theme that already installed that is cadence. So if you will have multiple themes here, you will see a drop down of all the themes available that you have installed in your WordPress website. Then in here, first of all, click on this analyze. So here you can see it says the theme load style sheets after the WP style queue and the theme does not require the parent theme style.css files to appear. So if you'll see this option here, that means that you can set up the style theme for your theme. So in here, first of all, name the new theme directory. So for now, I want to keep it as cadence child. You can change it if you want, but anyways, we will change them in the next steps. So the next option, it shows you that select where to save the new styles. So we want to save the new styles into the primary style.css sheet. And then it will be asking you to select the parent theme style sheet heading. So just keep the all the settings as they are here. The only important thing is here, customize the child theme name, description, author, version, etc. So in here, you can change the name of your theme. So for, for example, we can call it my awesome theme. And then here you can change the URL for your theme website. So for example, I can change it to google.com for now. And for the author, you can also change it to your name. 
or your company name so for now i'm keeping it as google and for the author website you can also insert the link here so i'll simply copy this link from here and then i'll paste it here then in here you can change the description you can write anything here as a description you can add the tags for the theme here and then in here you can define the version of the theme so for now this is just like 1.0.0 and then you have this option to copy the menus widgets and other customizer settings from the parent theme to the child theme this as it says that this option replaces the child themes existing menu and so on and so forth you can read about this but for now i don't want to check on this i'll simply click on this create a new child theme here it might take some time but in my case it's just loading quite fine so in here you can see it says this child theme appears uh, appears to be functioning correctly and that means that our theme is created so if i go back here and if i refresh this again you can see that there is a theme that we have just created so if i click on this theme details you can see the title that we have added my awesome theme the version and by the author name so if i click on here it will take me google.com the link that we have added and then it says this is the child theme of cadence so in this way you can create the child theme there are also other functionalities available in the theme so if we go back to tools and the child theme and then if i go back here and then appearance in the theme file editor option here okay click on i understand then in here you can see we have the cadence parent theme active here but here you can see we have a lot many files available but if i switch it to the child theme that we have created you can see we only have style sheet and the theme functions dot php file now for the child theme you only require these two files for the child theme to work so if you have the style sheet and the theme function dot php file you will be good to use your child theme so that is how you can create the child theme into WordPress based website. I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you have learned something new from this video, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you will always get notified whenever I upload the next video. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.